Coming to the stage, a man who told his entire office that they would be fired if they didn't come to the show tonight. Please welcome Kyle Riley. Thank you. So uh, my wife and I, in a couple months, will be married for 22 years. We actually met in college, and when we first met, we would argue all the time, because we were on the debate team. <laughs> that's what we did. You know, and I think that um, you know, we have a pretty good relationship. We have the exact same interests and the exact same goals. We just do whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that some of the wedding vows we have there, like the traditional wedding, wedding vows are kind of messed up. The one I really hated was, until death do us part. That's not very inspirational. <laughs> It's more like the rules to the Hunger Games. <laughs> I much preferred our wedding, and I said this, I said, until death do us party. <laughs> Way more uplifting, and a lot less like an invitation for murder. <laughs> I do think, though, you should live your life like a party. Like a really fucking good party. <laughs> and then you die and the party's fucking over. <laughs> Unless there's like an after party. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> so one thing my wife and I are really into right now is Marie Kondo, tidying up Marie Kondo. You've seen it, yes, on Netflix. So what Marie Kondo says is, if something doesn't spark joy in your life, you just get rid of it. And we have a lot of clutter, a lot of crap, so we're looking around, and we made a trip to Goodwill. Now, here's a fun fact. Um, Goodwill, they do not take children. <laughs> like, even if they're mid-condition children. <laughs> even if you have a birth certificate of authenticity. <laughs> even if you really don't care about a tax deduction. It's like in their policy or something. So we did the responsible thing and we returned them to the hospital for store credit. <laughs> and I was totally cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to share something that I've done recently with you guys. I am running for the President of the United States. I mean, why not? Everybody's doing it. I do think I have a good chance of winning, though. I can distinguish myself from the other people, the other candidates. Not a lot of white men running. <laughs> you know, I noticed though that I'm in a little bit of trouble because I'm polling at 0%, which is actually the same as Jay Inslee. <laughs> and right above us at 2% is somebody else. <laughs> and that doesn't feel great, but it does kind of make you think like if Jay Inslee actually dropped out of the race, his numbers would like automatically go up. <laughs> so uh, my parents were pretty strict when I was a kid. Um, I remember I didn't like clean my room or something. My dad comes in and he takes all of the video games. And we're talking, and I might date myself a little bit here, but we're talking Super Mario Brothers, we're talking Zelda, and Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> and I was pretty mad, but I do think back, and I, bought, I learned a lot of life lessons, like discipline, humility, and how I could hide the TV remote control and then do a hostage exchange. <laughs> I really don't like inconsiderate people. So like the other day, 
Our neighbor, Linda, comes to the door. She knocks on it. We're eating dinner. I get up. I answer the door. She wants to talk to me about the Bible and about how, like, Jesus died for my sins. I was pretty pissed because I'm just in Genesis, and she has ruined that book for me. She told me he died, and then she's like, no, it's okay. He rises from the dead. God damn it, Lisa. Can I give a spoiler alert here? I, I've actually run out of time. I was going to leave some time for my wife for rebuttal, but we are out. Yeah. <laughs>